Well, howdy diddly dandy there, chums, as I, Captain Stephen XO, and today we are going to do something simply, absolutely mind blowing. Heck yes. Hunting sand worms. I call them sandworms, even though, you know, this is a grassy planet and it's obviously not sand. But I mean, if you just look around, you can, you can see this is a freaking lush planet. It's got my R2-D2 base here. It's also the same system where you can find the R2-D2 Type S coloured fighter with a droid in a wing, which looks like R2-D2, a little bit like my anvil, but yeah, blue and white. It's the ship that was sitting freaking right next to this ship. But I am going to be taking out the anvil because in the anvil, I have got some awesome weaponry and I'm hoping to do damage to this freaking sandworm yeah we should come up with a new name other than sandworms because you know they don't burst out the sound anyway i'll see you guys in a bit through the power of editing when we find a worm right well here we go we've got the screen rumble and the shake and yeah so somewhere there should be a worm there he is right take this you now sandworms their hitbox is right up by the head section of the worm so you need to aim towards the head and the positron ejector although is my highest damage weapon because I, I need to get close to the dang guy to do it, you don't get a lot of time to get a lot of shots in its face, unless you can get ahead of the worm. But the worm changes directions, and its jumping point, it, it's, it's pretty darn, it, it's quite a distance. So trying to predict where it's going to pop out, it can be quite difficult. So I'm wondering whether the Silotron or a different sort of weapon might be better at attacking this worm. But what you may note is there's no numbers that are popping out of the worm's face when I'm shooting the heck out of it. So I don't think I'm doing any damage to the worm. I'm going to attempt to get ahead of the worm and I'm going to scan the worm and see if we can get any information that we might be able to glean from this guy. So here you go, I've slowed it right down. And I'm getting a scan on the worm, but you can see here I can't actually initiate the scan progress bar, although I've got him right in my freaking sensor. You can see there it says Worm Lord, and its stomach contents, a horrific egg. A horrific egg. I'm wondering whether this thing's pregnant and whether it might spawn little worms, but who freaking knows? I mean, we've had other sorts of eggs, haven't we? You know, like the humming sags or, or the other eggs that you get around abandoned buildings. Who knows? Maybe this thing has got some sort of evil inside of it. Maybe that's just the larvae. What if the giant worm lord is just a larvae? What if it can turn into something freaking humongous and evil? But it does say there, immortal worm. Maybe that's what we need to call these things, immortal worms, rather than sandworms, since they pop out on all sorts of planets. If you've got a name for these creatures, like Super Graboid or something like that, nick that from Tremors, that's not mine. But yeah, put it in the video comments. I'd love to see what you want to name these immortal worms. But I'm just going to call them immortal worms from here on in, chums. Heck yes. And if you guys want to find your own immortal worm, I now have a process of doing so and it works pretty darn well so as you can see there i've just seen a worm but now what i'm going to do is show you guys how you can get a worm to pop so firstly you need to come to a planet that's got worms this planet definitely has immortal worms so yeah here you go get your notepad and pen out write down that portal code or do a print screen or whatever you need to do but yeah while you're here, please hit the subscribe. I'm hoping to try and hunt this worm down and kill it. Or I'm going to encourage you guys out there to do the same. And please put into your comments whether you've had any success. Yeah, into the comments of this video. Add in whether you've had any more success than what I've had. If you've found a decent weapon. If you've managed to get damage numbers to pop. All that sort of shenanigans. Please share with the actual community here. But here we go. This is how you find your own worm. So come to the worm planet. Where I'll just put that up. And it's in Euclid. And it should work on all platforms. Put down a manual save and, and do a save and then reload your manual save okay now i'm not going to cut this footage so you can see how long this takes for a worm to actually appear a mondo now what i would say is i don't know whether this same method will work in a party i have yet to have tried that you know, if one person reloads their manual save and then rejoins the group, I don't know whether it would cause a worm to actually pop. But if there's four of you and you might be able to do a little bit more damage or come at the worm at all different angles, that might work. So, yeah, if you do 
to put something like that together, a worm hunting team, please be sure to uh, let us know in the comments how that went. Right, so I'm just going to take a little bit of a gander around. I've picked up my manual save because uh, yeah, I'm going to take that with me. And you don't have to wait long. There we go. We've got the screen tremor. Sometimes it does this and it goes completely bonkers. And yet it might it might throw you off a bit. I mean, I can't see where the worm is. There he is. He's over there. There she blows. Righto. Let's go. Let's go get her. Come on, let's go. I keep calling it he, her, whatever. I have no idea. It doesn't come up when you scan it with gender. So here we go. Sorry to assume your gender, Mr. And Mrs. Worm. Right, we're going to shoot the freaking fudge out of you. That's what we're going to do. So yeah, you can see there, you can get the red sort of hit dots coming up, but there's no numbers. I don't believe you can actually kill with this thing. I think I might be setting you guys on a mission impossible in taking out a worm. But here we go. Let's uh, try and get it with a positron ejector. Right, come here, you. I need to shoot some positive energy into your freaking head. Okay, um, right. You know what? I might try and get a picture of this worm. Let's try and get a picture of the worm for a thumbnail in a second. Here we go. I think that's a perfect opportunity. Let's spin this around. Wow, this thing is a Goliath. It's freaking huge. Look at the armor plating on this thing. No wonder I'm not doing any freaking damage. It's freaking mental. Yep, yeah. the <laughs> size of my ship in comparison. That is seriously crazy. I would love to see more megafauna come into the actual verse in 2021. I really do hope, Hello Games, add it so you can actually do damage to this. It, I mean, you guys might find a way of doing damage, but right now on my own, I have not managed to actually damage this thing, or at least I don't think I have. Now, what I would say is you only get a limited time span to do your damage against these worms. They don't just keep going endlessly. If a storm appears, I find that sort of disrupts things and the worm won't repop. Or um, after around about a dozen jumps or so, th they stop jumping. So you've got a very limited window to do your damage. So coordinate your attacks on the worm and hopefully you're going to have a little bit more success than what I've had. If you get damage numbers to pop, please let me know how you did it and the best way of doing so. If you manage to scan the creature, like actually get the actual progress bar to go up, again, please let me know because those two things are the things that I haven't managed to do, which leads me to believe that this is some sort of particle emitter or something like that, and it's not really a, a fauna as within a fauna that we know about. I mean, I don't think you're ever going to get this to appear on your Discoverer's page, but please let me know if you do. Anyway, you guys out there have been freaking awesome and I hope this has helped you. If it has, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye again. I want to say a massive great big thank you for watching. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And thank you to my backers over on Patreon and on YouTube membership. If you do want to support this channel, you could just not skip my adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or stay with Captain Steve a little bit longer and hit something on this screen. Heck yes, there's also merch on this screen now. Awesome!